Hey, it's Deborah. Oops, hold on one second. That's me. That just happens to be my alarm going off, telling me that my butternut squash soup, carrots, and a few random sweet potato pieces are done. So hang in there with me. Whew. We got some other things cooking in there as well. I'm just gonna make sure truly they're ready to go. I'm about to make one of my all-time favorite soups. So, so ready. All right, I'm gonna make this in batches. I'm gonna show you how easily it comes together. And one of the things I wanna show you is one of my secrets. So, I gotta tell you, it's Sunday morning and I had big plans for this Sunday morning, but I don't feel great. And that, to me, not just because it's November and it's cooler and soup season, but it really means it's a soup day. So, you know, I feel okay. I just don't feel 100%. So, kind of my head, my stomach, they're all just saying, chill, be careful, right? So if you get that way, especially in the winter time, like I very rarely do, but feel so frustrated when it does happen, what I do, so that I can have what's really a meal, but yet it's a little bit lighter. I still gotta get up and go tomorrow, right? Go hard, and I know I'm gonna feel better tomorrow. What I'm doing is just taking this cooked, whoops, and spilling it all over, taking this cooked butternut squash soup and putting it into my Nutribullet RX because it's an amazing soup maker and it's gonna kind of dial this down in about seven minutes and be awesome. And I've got a little bit more here in my pan and my dog loves this stuff too. He's like, do some drop? I'll get it for you, okay? So when he is an old English sheepdog, it's hard to say no to, it's just like a child. Let me show you how fast this comes together. So I'm gonna use bone broth today and the reason being is I'm actually going out of town, don't wanna let it spoil, but otherwise I might use some chicken broth paste and just put some water in the Nutribullet because it's gonna heat it up, it's gonna take care of everything for me. But I'm gonna put about two and a half cups in and then I'm gonna add sage. And I like things a little bit more on the savory side, so if you do too, I go a little heavier on that. I minimize the nutmeg, but just a bite of nutmeg makes it great. Cinnamon, a little bit more cinnamon than nutmeg, but not nearly as much as the sage. And then I'm gonna put some sea salt in here, but I'm also a garlic lover. So I don't know about you, but I'm gonna add a little garlic. And I'll tell you another secret about why I'm gonna do that. Because when I need to make a light meal and yet I do want it to be like a meal I'm 53 I'm losing muscle a whole lot easier than I'm gaining it or keeping it so I'm fighting for every little bit so I've got to have 20 to 30 grams of protein in every meal how am I gonna get that if I'm just having soup now sometimes you're sick enough that's just what has to be that's not the case for me right now right so what I'm going to do is stir in a serving of my vanilla protein shake mix. And I'm going to make sure I have this on well. And then I'm going to call that a meal. So I've got 21 grams of protein in that. The bone broth, the added perk here, is the bone broth adds 9 grams of protein per cup. I put in about two and a half where I will by the time I'm done. I'm just gonna cook this amount, get it started. I'm gonna add the rest of my batch and then I'll see you when it's all done. So hang in there. Okay, so it naturally shuts off. I put all the extra butternut squash and sweet potatoes, carrots inside. So you can see how deeply colored it got. And I'm gonna just spoon out a little. Don't tell anybody. Okay. 
And this is just for the sake of all the gas, right? Mm. Really good. So a little bit of garlicky, not too much. Just gonna stir that up. Super yummy. And it's already heated through. So all I'm gonna have to do now is pour single servings when I'm ready to go. And I'm gonna mix up just a tiniest little bit of extra bone broth in it and then stir in my protein shake so that it's this perfect consistency right now, even with the protein shake in it. And boom, sprinkle it with a little sunflower seed, maybe pumpkin seeds for a crunch on the topping, and I'm good to go. A full meal, super, super easy. And I'm gonna put the recipe down below in the comments. So if you don't yet have a Nutribullet RX, why not? Seven minutes, done, hot, stirred, done. Even I can do that. I'll see you on the flip side.